Nichiwa. This is the Shogunstein. And this is an unboxing of a game we received a review copy of from Amazon Vine. It is called Galileo Project and not the uh, grading program from my uh, side hustle. And here's the designer, Adrian Hessling and David uh, Sitbon. And it's from Sorry We Are French Games. And it is 40 to 80 minutes, ages 14 plus, two to four players. And I got to be honest, I don't really know much about this game other than my friend, the uh, board game captain, has a uh, video of an explanation of this game from it looked like uh, PAX or one of the other uh, game conventions from uh, a little while back. But other than that, I really don't know much about this game. So let's just take a look at what's in the uh, box here and see if we can figure this out. I really don't know a lot about this. So here are the directions in French. And uh, the Shogun's team when he was in high school did take uh, the trois, trois years of uh, French. And uh, I really don't remember much, so the French directions aren't going to help me much. Here are the uh, English directions. And we got the team and the aim of the, the game. And we got uh, some setup. And there's a, a lot of rules. But they do give a lot of examples here. So maybe that uh, maybe there aren't so many rules and they're just giving you some nice examples and illustrations. But uh, definitely, you know, some things we're going to have to to read here on uh, how to play this. And again, I don't really know much about this game at all. Oh, and here's Miss Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. How are you? So here we go. End of the game. There we go. And I got some appendixes here. So we'll have to do some of that reading. That's good. Oh, this is good. They're telling us what the abilities are. So it looks like there's character cards and technology cards. So we got technologies, characters, and goals. Okay. Again, you got to like that name. Sorry we are French. All right. Let's take a look at the components here. Let's see what we got. So we have some kind of player board here. And uh, you got, like, uh, moons. All right. Some sort of scoring track. Good quality uh, board here. There we go. So it looks like there's a lot of uh, symbols and things here. It looks like a lot of icons. Now, that could be good because, especially for us colorblind players, Icons are very helpful, so that way we don't have to be dependent on the, the colors. But hopefully, not too many icons. Uh, we did look at, what was that game? Tour Operator, uh, a few weeks back, that just had way too many icons. Almost to the point where it was not uh, enjoyable to, to play. So definitely got some, some icons here, but hopefully not too many. And again, hopefully that's actually to make it so we don't have to be so color dependent. Here we got our, I guess, moon boards. Not Moonbeam, the uh, great Lord Euron song, but moon boards. All right, now we got uh, some things to punch. We got some really cool sci-fi art. Normally, I'm not really into sci-fi themed games, but that's good because you know I don't have too many sci-fi themed games in the collection. Unlike say, you know, zombies or Vikings or you know, uh, pirates, things that we have lots of. So it's nice to have something a little different. Definitely cool art here. So we got some some robots and, you know, Space Lab and all kinds of stuff. It looks nice. Definitely interesting art. All right. So again, we got some more sci-fi themed art. Casino. So again, I'm seeing, you know, nice icons. And 
Let's just take a look at the, the colors here. So, uh, definitely different colors, so it's easy for me to tell them apart. This is like a pinkish, this is some sort of grayish. Again, you have clear icons here. So again, those of you who are colorblind, that might not be as big an issue as it is for the Chauvinstein. All right, so here's some nice stuff to punch out here. And we got a game board. All right, so it looks like we're going to be uh, putting down some cards. Okay, so it's not a it's kind of a, a long board, not, not a very wide board. So it looks like, I guess, our goal cards are going to go here. And it looks like we're going to be playing things here. So it looks like a pretty well-organized board, some sort of score track. And again, we got clear symbols. All right. So again, not sure what we're doing yet. All right. So what do we got in here? We got some... Uh, some bits here. All right, so again, let's take a look at colors. We got a, a light blue. That's good. We got a yellow. All right, so that's, again, so in terms of us that are colorblind, these are two very clearly distinct colors. We have some kind of pink technology science thing. So, again, different shape. So these look like... I guess these might be like the player. All right, so I like that. So it's if these are the player pieces, you do have very clear differences. So you got like a darker blue, like a purple. So you got like a blue, you got like a purple. That's pretty easy to tell apart. And you have the, the yellow and the, the red. So far, so good. We'll do a, a separate, specific colorblind uh, video. So again, we've got these pink ones, and we have uh, more discs. And again, looks like we have different colors in here, and they look, again, from here, it looks like they're easy to tell apart. But we'll do a separate video on that. All right, what else do we have in here? we got some bags. Got a score pad. Always like when they give you a nice score pad. And again, we have symbols. So I'm wondering if this is, you know, I'm wondering if there's some sort of engine building type thing here. So I wonder if there's similarities with this and uh, say like um, It's a Wonderful World, Century Spice, um, even like a Splendor. So I'd be curious about that. All right, we got some cards. Back here, we get some more cards. Again, kind of cool looking art. I'm not sure what's in here. Casino, they're kind of heavy. Whatever this is in here, it's kind of heavy. Really know nothing about this game. I'm gonna have to talk to board game captain get a little more information. A little show this thing. Did you open that, please? Thank you. So again, got some symbols that match the the board. And this video has grinded to a halt as little Shogunstein attempts to open up. What's in the box? What's in the box? But so far, the components look really nice. Again, you got wood pieces. We'll have to see what the card quality is like when we open this up. What's in there, little Shogunstein? Can't open it. Oh, my goodness. Seeing Freeman Casino, and I feel kind of heavy. Aren't there some kind of all right? Uh, never mind. Show this. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, looks like we got some poker chips. Interesting, like real poker chips. Like, like heavy poker chips. Very interesting. So, again, this was an unboxing of Galileo Project, a game. We got a review copy from Amazon Vine, and we know very little about. Looks interesting. Definitely uh, not a theme we have a lot of in our collection, so we'll get some plays in. We'll also look at it from a colorblind perspective. And again, just to be uh, transparent, we did get a copy from Amazon Vine. So this is the Shogunstein and Little Shogunstein.